<laughs> What's coming up next? Hmm. It's Weeknight Update with Allie Mueller and the morning show. That's my favorite. Starting Rebel Wilson at extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. Enjoy! From the gorgeous you to Tokyo. And <laughs> sometimes it is turkey land over here. But don't uh, expect us to have uh, turkey every night. Wait. Huh? It's week of the daily moon. And now, man, we'll give you some tips on how to really get your uh, turkey ready for the big feast. I mean, come on, Martha Stewart isn't going to do it, so why not ask this guy, Mr. Ellie Cunningham? Ha! Welcome to Week uh, Update. I am Ellie Cunningham. What is all the grasshoppers? <laughs> Tom out, everybody. Tom out. Hey, boss, how are you? I'm feeling all right. Are you ready for uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow? Yeah, I am so excited. Me too. But. Right now, we got some business to, uh, to take care of. Oh, right. Exactly. All right, well, first off, let me, oh, let me say this real quick. Uh, this is your last chance to get your responses in for this week's Count of the Week question, which, which is, coincidentally enough, now what do you like to eat the most during the holidays and why? I'm surprised that not too many people have responded that uh, question yet, but you know, there's still some time. So please go over to the community that post, go to that post, and respond to that question. Can you do that for me, please? Thank you. Now, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mathis Piano. The color being cool, the camera lady, and Eva from 2004 are responsible for most of the things that you're going to see and hear on this program tonight. And there are also some of our shots for our winners tonight. Our other shows while I want us tonight are Monty Jeff and I, Carly Olsen and I, Supercar and I, Zach, Fanboy Films, Fanboy Films 2, Charles Lamont Sims, The Ultimate Mario Gamer, Landon the Hedgehog, and Blue Bloom slash Blah Blah. Right. Do what we normally do, okay? What's up? What's up? What's up? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What is a uh 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 what uh, uh, is a uh, 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 uh what uh 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 is a uh what is a what is a what uh 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 is a uh uh what uh 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 is a uh uh what uh 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 is a uh 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 what is a ba 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 What's up with turkey? You can't have Thanksgiving without it. Well, unless if you are vegan. Wait, really? Well. Can't uh, win them all with uh, some of these jokes, can you? Hey, some experts say that a turkey should not be purchased too soon. Who cares? Let people eat, crying out loud. Now, <coughs> watch out. Some people don't know this, but you should never rinse your Thanksgiving turkey. You should wash your hands first. Hey, that was just common sense. Grow up, people. Man. And I don't know if it's the holiday season or if it's just me, but some of those jokes were a little too cringy for my taste. Well, you know what they say, some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in a pot nine days old. MP, Mr. Bones, let's do a top eight. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight. You know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! Thank you very much, boss. Nice category, top eight things that should never be in a turkey. Number eight, slime. Number seven, a skunk. Number six, fish. Number five, a spider. Number four, a fly. Number three, an ostrich. Number two, a feather. And number one, a zipper. A zipper in turkey? At this point, 
do we really need to ask? No, 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 no. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Yes. As usual, the following hashtag uh, should uh, get some attention on social media. Hashtag we can update. Hashtag tell me off late night. Hashtag tell me off for adult swimming. Hashtag spread love around. So, if you have the time, please, please, by all means, get those hashtags to trend on social media. And while you're at it, please, by all means, like this team, subscribe, ring the bell, share, and we can chat in the comment section down below. But whatever you do, please do not go anywhere. We're just getting started. And we're just so on his way over here. Then we'll have special delivery, more of this book require, and the all important talking time. So we're going to do a commercial right now, and then we will return with the rest of the show. Come on back. This is still week now. Okay, now here it is. You're all right. <laughs> Listen, I, I personally think the Empire people are crazy to do this, but they insist. They're going to give you a free t-shirt just for getting a free estimate on new carpeting. A free estimate. See, Empire thinks you'll like their carpeting so much you'll buy it. But of course, you don't have to. All you have to do is call 582-300 and say, OK, Empire, we do need carpeting. Come out and give us an estimate and bring a free t-shirt. 588-2300, Empire. You're crazy, Empire. Mr. Wood Scott, the boys, uh, Ed, hey, partner, I mean, boss, how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. How about yourself? I'm feeling fine. Okay, let's uh, cut it out. But anyway, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, or uh, by the time people are watching this, uh, I think today. <laughs> yeah, well, at least here in the United States. Most of the other countries have already celebrated Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, and now, without any further ado, I think that it is time for another episode of Special Delivery. <laughs> The maestro audition pose. My lovely assistant. My lovely assistant. Oh, what is it now? I'm trying to watch. Who's winning? What the? Oh, look. I told you. It's a musical performance, not a football game. Die, you're only saying that because your team's losing. Oh, no, I... Oh, jeez. Who scored? Howdy, y'all! Welcome to my hoot nanny! You're in for a treat tonight because me and the fellas are about to perform you some good old country. I present to you the Texas Blubber Monsters! Ooh, that quarter pack is showing the real progress this evening. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Did you happen to eat all of those hot dogs, my lovely assistant? That wasn't a hot dog. It was the arm of the chair, you old coot. I thought it was a bit scale and hard to lift. Phew. I probably shouldn't have eaten all of those cheesecakes, neither. Yeah! The audience are really rootin' tootin' it now! <laughs> That was another episode of Special Delivery. And that was entertaining. <coughs> Excuse me. And now, it's time for the Multiple Disability Choir to give you a wonderful performance. That was wonderful. That was incredible. And now, I believe that it's talking time. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey! Do you know what time it is? That's correct. It's talkie time to know what Ellie is talking about. So let's talk about it and dance about it. A lot of people are getting their uh, turkey prepared and everything else for the big uh, Thanksgiving Day feast. But some people don't know when is the right time for people to buy their turkeys. Now, here's something interesting. Alright? Usually, the turkeys you know, are being uh, sold in the supermarkets you know, at the beginning of November, it, 
Now the supermarkets usually start selling you know, uh, turkeys at the beginning of November. You know, and you know what uh, experts say that you can buy your turkeys you know, at the beginning of the month. However, if the turkey is truly fresh and never frozen, then you would not be able to uh, pick up your turkey until the week of Thanksgiving. Of course, if you wait until then, then you will be a little further behind because you know you got to uh, base the turkey. You have to uh, make sure your uh, turkey is you know uh, prepared and things like that. You gotta have time to prepare the turkey before you start uh, you know uh, cooking it and things like that. And of course, the ever uh, so important uh, stuffing you know has to go in there and things like that. I don't think, but you should probably you know uh, buy your turkey you know. Not uh, early, early, but not late, late either. So, you know, go with the uh, sell by or use by date located on a hang tag for purchasing a fresh turkey. Because that's what it says here uh, in this uh, article here. And here's something else that you should uh, remember. All right, now make sure your turkey is fresh. All right, because a fresh turkey will end up being a delicious turkey sometime down the road. All right. So, think, always think. Okay, do you remember? When I told you that you shouldn't uh, rinse your Thanksgiving turkey and that you should always wash your hands before uh, dealing with raw meat, especially turkey, well, there's a reason behind it, alright? According to Ali Neal, you know, the professor of microbial food safety at the University of Delaware, you know what? Uh, now, this is true. You know, it's not uh, right for you to wash your turkey because you risk splashing bacteria on other surfaces in the kitchen or spreading bacteria around your uh, countertop. I mean, you're spreading it around onto your countertop and things like that. You know, and here's some interesting, all right? The United States federal agencies recommended not washing raw turkey for nearly 20 years, and it's still an incredibly common practice today. You know, and here's a uh, fun fact, okay? According to the CDC, raw turkeys contain salmonella, uh, campylobacter, and other bacteria in germs which could cause diarrhea, vomiting, and more. All right, so, while you do need to, uh, you know, uh, prepare your turkeys and things like that, giving your turkeys a bath is not a good idea. And it could lead to a lot of people getting sick, all right? And of course, you should always wash your hands, you know, uh, before uh, dealing with uh, a wild turkey because, you know, that's the rule, you know, according to the CDC. You know, you don't want to get sick and things like that. All right. And... <coughs> Excuse me. And turkeys, you know, it take a long time to thaw, as in multiple days. So, you should really get your uh, turkeys ready to be thawed, you know, at least a week, a week and a half in advance. All right? And here's another thing, all right? You know, make sure that your turkey is fully cooked at 100 
165 degrees Fahrenheit before you dig in. That's very, very, very important to know. All right, so you have to remember all those things before you start, you know, uh, getting ready for uh, your big uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, feast. All right, folks, we got to wrap this uh, program up. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Enjoy your Thanksgiving Day feast tomorrow, and then come back uh, after that uh, for another episode of Week Out There, all right? That is the news. I'm out, Steve. For all, by for all. Happy Thanksgiving.